Assalamu alaikum, greetings and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Since we started the remote teaching or distance education because of the coronavirus and the lockdowns and the social distancing and so on, it has been a struggle to really balance the good quality uh, video and visual content with an audio. Because when we started this whole thing, it was just all of a sudden and everything was just out there. And we had to work with whatever we had. That is uh, like the audio coming out from the laptops and uh, desktops. A very basic webcams with, with very basic mics. And so it, since then, it's been a year, like we've been through everything from these headphones that I use at the beginning. These are gaming headphones, but they really helped me a lot. And I recorded many of the PowerPoint lectures through them. But then later on, I had to do some also some practicals outside of the room in the field. So I had to buy lab mics and I had to buy wireless mics and all kinds of things, tried everything to make it just work, but it hasn't been working well for me. So the last, um, a, few, a few weeks ago, like, uh, started to think about it again and got more uh, into the audio, um, aspect of uh, recording the lectures and so on. So I had learned a few things, especially on using audacity to improve the audio content of my lectures and my educational materials. And so I would like to, to share with you some of those materials. So let's get started and I hope you will benefit from this. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and support us on this channel. Stick around, we'll see you after a moment. Welcome back. What I am having here in front in the screen or in the monitor right now is Rode Connect. And that's because I have a Rode NT mini mic that I got recently, it's about 49 reals actually, which is about $100 on Amazon. Um, this mic is really good. It is the first desktop mic that I have. And I think it, it improved my, um, the quality of my uh, recordings. As I mentioned, this is what I am aiming for. So it's a desktop mic and this app comes with it. You can download it for free. And it works with only these uh, ma these microphones, but you can also use it to record system sound and the virtual sound. Virtual sound, basically all the sounds that come from Hang Google Meet, it comes from Hangout, it can come from Zoom, whatever uh, you set those output. Um, instead of the speakers that you have in your desktop, you set it out as a virtual uh, road um, output. That way, that reroutes it to this app, and then it can be recorded. So somebody calling or somebody speaking, you want to record them, you could do that. The system sound is any system that's generated by the computer. You can also turn off these by clicking here. And so, for example, if I open Google Chrome and start um, a YouTube sound, there you go. You can see now the sound is also being recorded, like here. And you can go up. You can go vice versa, you know what this. And then you add the sound of the microphone. So now the microphone sound is much better than, or much louder than the system sound coming from the YouTube audio. And you could lower it and have this as a background music, for example. You have a whole options here. You have the level as 40. You can have also a noise gate, which will reduce your noise, compressor. You know what those all things are, exciters and big button. All these will improve your uh, recording. So that's why I like this uh, software that comes with the microphone. The two of them work really great for me and it has improved my recordings. So now I'm going to stop recording both the system first and then the microphone that I'm recording through right now. I will stop it here. Okay, so this is basically what we have right now. We are recording from the mic and this is the sound we have. Welcome back. What I am so what I usually do once I'm here, first of course I have to remove the extra um, sounds that are not needed. 
Next is uh, I usually remove the, the noise. So uh, if you remember, I started with with the noise, so I can find any uh, blank sound like this one here, and use that as my noise profile. This is when it was quiet. So I can go here to the effects and noise reduction. I can get that as noise profile, and then after that, I highlight the whole soundtrack. And then go noise reduction and apply the noise reduction. Now it is applying the noise reduction. So now the sound is like this. whatever uh, you set those output call. Cool. So the noise is gone. Next is to improve my uh, pitch a little bit because that will make my sound a little deeper. We'll come back. What I am having here in front in the screen. So that would be it. Okay, that is done. Next, I'm going to uh, do bass and triple. That is also very nice to do. I apply that. Okay, of course, I need it now to normalize the tracks as well. Here we go, normalizing all my tracks. Okay, graphic as well. So uh, let me do the um, boost, the boss, that's one thing. And also, again, the same thing, graphic equalizer. We go here and do the number boost, you can see here in this area. Sometimes I need to kind of have um, a slow entry just a little bit to lower the volume. Just here, for example, and then the higher again. Uh, so you could probably see it just to show you how it's done. So we'll start again. We'll come back. There you go. Done. Okay. What if I wanted to have some background music? All I need to go and get my music. Say I put this one here. So this is okay. So uh, let me do this. Remove this part. I don't need this. Okay. So how do you do the auto ducking? Now, if you play music now, we'll come back. You have the what sound. I'm having here in front of the screen or in the mind. Okay. What I want to do is auto duck this. So what I need to do is just move this up. Okay. So now the music is here. And then um, I need to uh, go to here to effects. Auto duck. And um, I think uh, this is good. Maybe I'll just reduce it a little bit to allow more music. There you go. So let's start it now. We'll come back. And then don't forget to, of course, export your audio in any way you like. I prefer the highest quality, which is well. And uh, I'm done. What I'm having here is all right. That is what I wanted to show you how to do auto duck in Audacity, how to improve your sound or your recorded sound basically, and then how to improve the audio overall for your video projects. I'm now going to import both the video that I recorded and the audio, mix them together, put them in this video after this, and then see how they how you like them. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time goodbye welcome back what i am having here in front in the screen or in the monitor right now is road connect and that's because i have a road nt mini mic that i got recently it's about 49 reals actually which is about a hundred dollars on amazon um, this mic is really good it is the first desktop mic that i have and i think it it improved my um the quality of my uh, recordings as i mentioned this is what i am aiming for so it's a desktop mic and this app comes with it you can download it for free and it works with only these uh, mi these microphones but you can also use it to record system sound and the virtual sound virtual sound basically all the sounds that come from Hang google meet it comes from hangout it can come from zoom